Hello everybody, this is Dr. Mark Dupéry at the Visage Clinic here in Toronto, beautiful Canada. I want to thank my patient today for agreeing to be filmed. This is a, a classic calf augmentation for us, for ladies in Toronto. Most people know about calf augmentation for guys who want to have big lower legs, the bodybuilder style. Um, and of course, those are the, the very common augmentation we do. But the second most common will be for our ladies with very skinny lower leg. They tend to have a lack of curvature inward that makes them look a little bit like bow legged. So uh, this lady is very thin on the inner thigh. She's got normal size thighs and she's very self-conscious of, of this lack of inner curvature which again gives her the look of a bow leg. So uh, I prepared a pocket. Can I have my uh, bayonet dissector, please? And it's already done the dissection. I am under the fascia, you can see. I've created a pocket all the way to the lower ankle. So this is a full lower leg augmentation. Uh, it's a very common implant I use for uh, our ladies. I use it also for patients with <coughs> club feet surgery in the past and patients with polio where they lack the inner curvature of their lower legs. So I will show you the implant. It's a beautiful implant. It's solid, so it's not like a, a gel implant as we have with breast. <coughs> it's nice and soft. It's very spongy. It's beautiful. It will fill up the inner, the inner calf nicely. I will show you how we put it in. It's not hard once the pocket is dissected. It's very important to be in the right plane. Um, I see pictures online of other patients where you see the implants because they were too superficial. Now we'll go gently. And I like to put it only once. So uh, I'll go slowly and you see the implant slowly gliding in. Now, you see, it goes all the way here. I can feel it all the way here. Now, it is augmented already. Her fascia, however, is very tight. Fascia is a very tight structure, much tighter than skin. So for a few weeks, the uh, implant will be pushed in a little bit by her, by her own fascia. And over a month or two, as she resumes normal activities, the fascia will expand and she'll get the final result two to three months post-surgeries. See this beautiful inner augmentation. You see no implant, you see no edges because we're deep into the inner calf compartment. Calf augmentation is a procedure I've been performing for 20 years here in Toronto, Canada. Um, I believe we're the leader in body implants here at the Visage Clinic in Canada. Uh, complications are rare, but as with any implants, we always discuss hematoma bleeding, seroma, which is the inflammatory fluid that can occur. That's why we put drains. Uh, infections are very rare, but can happen. So we treat patients with IV and oral antibiotics. And capsular contracture, which is extremely rare uh, with body implant as opposed to breast implant. I thank you for watching this video. Have a lovely day.